The state government has admitted the new $1 billion Royal Children's Hospital won't be world class. The hospital is due to open in six months, but it'll be without a new information technology system. That's despite requests from the hospital dating back two years. It was billed as a state-of-the-art children's hospital, but a political stout has erupted over how the new Royal Children's will open without a new IT system. It's a hospital that will be opened in November without the information and communications technology that would enable it to be the best hospital that it could be. The hospital will be forced to use its current system at the new facility. The health minister blames the former Labor government, saying it knocked back two funding requests. So it's like buying a modern car and pulling it with a horse. The opposition says it planned to fund the IT system had it won last year's election. The business case had been prepared for the funding for the IT system. It would have been considered by the Labor, incoming Labor government and it would have been delivered. There is no doubt that that would have occurred. The IT system is expected to cost around $24 million. The health minister says there's no way it will be funded before the hospital opens. That's despite the government being on track for a healthy budget surplus. The government used question time to have another dig at the former government. And I don't know whether the previous um, health minister, the now uh, leader of the opposition, was hoping for a punch card or abacus system, but that's not the way a Bayou government would work. The Treasurer wouldn't say when the government will be able to fund the new system. Anna MacDonald, ABC News, Melbourne.